Okay, so uh, let's start with our technologies for rejuvenation. And this is the first step in any kind of product that you would like to do. Now, Salvona is established about 20 years ago, and we have now over six different platforms of technologies. So we have solutions for technical issues as well as for marketing. For example, here you can see we have different technologies and we call them in different names. They are all based on submicron, micron, and macron. Macron size, uh, up to millimeter size of different type of spheres. And they are designed to meet different requirements, different environment, different prices, and so on. So our technologies and our company, we are developing our technologies, patenting, and we offer our patented proprietary technologies. And I think uh, that's what makes us unique. So what is the agenda for today? Today, we want to demonstrate a couple of concepts to, to enable you to formulate products for skin exfoliation and rejuvenation. Uh, first of all, I will explain what is chemical exfoliation to my best understanding. And I will introduce our best technology for that purpose, Salsphere, it's, this is the name of the technology, even skin. And then I show you some formulations, which means I show you how to use practicalities of this. So this webinar is very much targeted toward chemists and people that are involved in marketing of products. Because based on the marketing, you will see how to explain it to consumers, how to increase the value of a product containing the technologies. Of course, you should listen to other webinars that I give more details about this and all the webinars are available for you in salvona.com. So what is the problem we are trying to resolve? And I show you the problem in several steps and remember the picture because I show you before and then I show you after. So the number one is uneven skin, patches of oily and dry skin. You can look at the skin of people around you and you, by sharpening your ability to view, you see this phenomena of uneven skin. Okay, another aspect of um, our solution is blemishes. Of course, uneven in terms of redness or different colors, and of course, irritated skin for whatever reason it can be. Blemishes is a big one. Blemishes are different from acne in terms of how we approach it. Uh, acne considered to be active with bacteria. Blemishes with less bacteria or no bacteria. Uh, redness because of inflammation, you know, tired, no radiance, and loss of general brightness of the skin. This is the basic problem that teenagers and young adults are having. They're a little bit older people have fine lines, large pores and uneven skin. And look carefully at the first three pictures because I will show you them at the end. So what is, this is a problem. Now, what is the solution? And you understand this is a very large problem in terms of number of people suffering from this. So the typical solution is exfoliation of the skin. I know that very few people are focused on exfoliation and that's the purpose of this webinar, to bring to your consciousness that the skin, the person needs to exfoliate the skin, especially as we get older. So this you see here a cross section of the skin where the blue is the dermis and everything above is the surface of the skin and the epidermis. You see that the top layer of the skin is exfoliating. So the growth is happening from inside the skin toward outside of the skin. The time it takes for a cell from the dermis to the surface is about 28 days for young skin. As we go older, it takes longer. So what do we have on the surface? Old skin. 
typically old, dead, darker, uneven skin. That's the reason why we need to exfoliate, to expose the new skin. That's why we need exfoliation systems. We need to remove the old cells, open up the clogged pores to reduce the appearance of large pores. Okay, the pores are filled out of sebum that have been solidified. And once we exfoliate, we release this layer. So also exfoliation reduces fine line, revealing a younger and fresher looking skin. If that's what you want to do, you definitely need to exfoliate the skin. Also exfoliation with chemical ingredients such as salicylic acid, improve the skin texture leaving the skin cleaner, smoother, softer, and overall more beautiful. It diminishes the appearance of shiny, oil skin, and overall, overall, it helps for, to get a nicer, younger looking skin. For people that use makeup, then exfoliation is even more important because exfoliation removes the dead skin and allow anti-aging serums, all the active for anti-aging, to penetrate. The top layer prevent them from penetrating. They just stay on the skin. So they can, people can use very expensive product, but if they cannot penetrate, there is no value. In addition to this, it enables the makeup to stay on the skin for longer. So there are many reasons why we need to exfoliate. Now let's address the issue how to exfoliate. So we have two types of chemicals that we use for exfoliation, alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid. The alpha or beta depends on the position of the carbon or how many carbons you have next to the acid group. Alpha is one, beta is two, gamma is three. We will not go much into the chemistry, but mention about, let's talk about alpha hydroxy acid. Typically they are naturally occurring. So we may use synthetic, but they are occurring naturally. They have a unique cosmetic function. They reduce scars, they repair uneven skin, definitely hyperpigmentation. They enhance skin texture, and firmness of the skin, they reduce spots, they reduce wrinkles and fine lines, they're also able to hydrate the skin, and overall, overall, they're water soluble. So water soluble may sound great because they will be compatible with all kinds of formulas that you make. What do we know about water soluble molecules? Would they penetrate into the deeper layer of the skin. Would they? Like imagine that you are in a swimming pool. Water, the smallest molecule, will water penetrate the skin? Okay, what do you think? Will water penetrate the skin? How would you know if it's penetrate the skin? Very simple, you will swell. If water gets into your body, you swell like a balloon. Is this is happening? Typically, it does not happen. Opposite, when we get into a tub or hot water or cold water, any water body, we are losing water and we start to see wrinkles. Wrinkles on our face is a result of losing water. So we have an issue. How can we enhance the appearance of the skin? Well, the alpha hydroxy acid are not able to penetrate. And alpha hydroxy acid are known as, for example, lactic acid coming from milk, mandelic acid coming from almond, malic acid coming from apples, and glycolic acid. Glycolic is the smallest molecule, so it has the best ability to penetrate. But still remember, water-soluble ingredients are not able to penetrate. They are very easy to use in the formula, but they cannot penetrate. If they cannot penetrate, don't you expect any performance? So this is about alpha hydroxy. I will show you a technology that enables the penetration and therefore enhances the performance. 
So if regular glycolic acid, you see an effect after a month, with the technology, you can see an effect maybe after three to five days. The second group of material is beta hydroxy acid, like salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is naturally derived from the willow bark. Okay, the bark are biotransformed into salicylic acid. Today we have different synthetic similar to the natural salicylic acid. Beta hydroxy acid are oil soluble. It's a big challenge to put them in a water soluble system like a formula. You see here, when I put about 2% salicylic acid in water, you see that the salicylic acid would precipitate. In other words, it cannot form a homogeneous product. So we need to have a solution for this. And this is where the technology is coming in. What does it use for? It's used for skin exfoliating. It's a treatment of blemish and acne. It's a drug for anti-acne. A lower concentration, it's very useful for blemish and smoothing the skin. The drug is used anywhere between 0.5 and 2% for acne. The major benefit of beta hydroxy acid, it's not sun sensitive. So you can wear it during the day. So let's focus for a couple of minutes on salicylic acid. I mentioned that salicylic acid is not soluble in water. An effective concentration of 0.2% salicylic acid is not soluble. You can solubilize it at high temperature, but when you cool down, it will form crystals, as you can see in the bottom picture. Another aspect of salicylic acid, if you are able to solubilize it with alcohol, and remember, we don't want to use alcohol on the skin because alcohol is drying the skin. So the solubility of salicylic acid results at about pH of 3, 3.2. This is a pH that guarantees one thing, irritation. As a result, people will not use it for a long time. The pKa of salicylic acid is three. If you start to titrate it in order to enhance the pH to something that's more skin friendly, you practically produce a sodium salt of salicylic acid and the salt is absolutely not active for our purpose. So titrating the salicylic acid in order to increase the pH to about four, four and a half, is actually losing the salicylic acid. So you may not want to do that, or you just put less salicylic acid. But titration is not a way to go forward and get performance. So performance is based only on the acid form. So you understand the chemistry. Now we can look at the technical aspect. The technical aspect we have we are asking two questions. How to formulate easily? How to make effective product with beta hydroxy acid? Why I say effective, not salt of salicylic acid. Okay, this is the major. And then how to exfoliate effectively without drying out and irritating the skin. So this is the major technical issues that we try to address in the following examples. But I hope you understand clearly the two issues, one relating to how to keep the acid form soluble, which our technology will show you, and then how to prevent the irritation of the skin. Because teenagers that use salicylic acid, for example, um, when they use salicylic acid and they get irritating dry skin, they would not like to use it again. So they cannot comply with the 20, uh, with the frequency of use, and therefore they don't see the effect, and they don't see the effect, they would say it doesn't work. So this is kind of a chain that we want to break down, and with these technologies, you will able to address. So what is the solution? Our solution is to encapsulate salicylic acid into a technology that we call sal sphere. What is sal sphere? 
is a sub-micron sphere with a diameter of 0.1 to 0.3 micron. It could be clear, you will not see the particles without scanning electron microscope. It has a core, okay? The core is where the active ingredients are encapsulated. In this case of even skin, we have two types of active ingredients. We have salicylic acid as the chemical exfoliant, and we have biological enzymes like papain and bromelain. So we have both chemical and biochemical exfoliation. And then we have the shell. The shell is what helps us to suspend the particles in any type of water base because the core is fat. Remember that salicylic acid is soluble in the fat, but not in water. So we use the chemical understanding in, and, ex, and apply it in, deliver, in creating delivery systems. So this is our basic structure of sun sphere even skin that you have to understand. Why we use the core lipid? For two reasons. One of them is because the salicylic acid is soluble in the lipid phase. And number two, the lipid is a force of adhesion. It sticks to the skin like dirt. Dirt, remember the mechanics in the garage when you go to fix or change oil? His hands are always black. The black is coming because of the carbon, the burning, and it sticks to the skin because of the fat. So we use a practical event, fat stick to fat. Our skin is also fat, so stick to fat. And what do we gain? We gain the salicylic acid can stick to the fat, to the skin, and slowly release. And we want it slowly release because we don't want to expose all the salicylic acid all at once. Okay, so the sulfur salicylic acid is a clear form. It's yellowish. When you dilute it to a facial wash, for example, it comes in a concentration of 15% salicylic acid. You dilute it to about 0.5% for blemish control, and then you get a very nice, a clear shampoo or facial wash. So what are the major benefits of salicylic acid encapsulated? Number one, first of all, you can suspend it in water. You don't have to deal with precipitation, crystallization of salicylic acid. Number one, easy to use. Number two, enhance the deposition of salicylic acid. You see all the red area on the blue surface are area covered with the layer containing salicylic acid. This guarantees slow release, which means the release can take about six hours. Slow release, so you don't get all the salicylic acid at once on your skin, so it does not irritate your skin, okay? And then it's gradually release. It's a time release. It doesn't dry the skin, enhance compliance. So you apply it on and the blemish and acne are gone. So this is the major three points of why you should use sun sphere even skin. Solubility, surface adhesion, and time release. So let's focus on how do we know what we know. So the basic thing is we are testing the level of salicylic acid. For example, the pH is a good indicator in addition to HPLC, which measures the amount of salicylic acid. You see in this graph, this is the skin pH, and we measure it with this type of electrode. Skin pH is a function of time. Look at the bare skin first. You see that the pH is about 5.3, and it's very much stand like that. The free salicylic acid, the darker line, when you apply it, it's really dropped the pH to sometimes below even four, and then it takes a long time, sometimes five to six hours to come to the normal skin friendly range, which is about 4.5 to 5.5. This is the normal skin range. If it goes below 4.5, it's typically irritating the skin. You don't want your product to irritate the skin. Don't forget the skin may be already compromised. But if we use the technology, you start with a higher pH and you all the time are in the range of the skin friendly pH. 
Okay, we also measure whether it's exfoliate or not. We measure the exfoliation with a Q2 meter. It's measuring color because the method is using a colorful material. What do we know about exfoliation? So what is the percent of exfoliation compared to exfoliation level with sulfur in the skin to free salicylic acid? You see that the exfoliation is doubled compared to the free in a group of six people that we tested on. Uh, uh, another aspect of exfoliation, when we use it from a lotion, the previous one was from a wash. This is from a lotion. You see that even from a lotion, the exfoliation is about 75% compared to 60%. So it's a significant increase in the ability of sunsphere, even skin, to exfoliate the skin. So uh, we are familiar now with the fact, the technical fact, products like this have been used in multiple brands, in multiple uh, products. Uh, you see 2% BHA, which is salicylic acid, and other brands that using such a technology, and we can learn from their experience as well. So this is a commonly used technologies now in this world. So let's go to how to formulate with sunsphere even skin. This is the focus point of this presentation. The first example I want to show you is a face wash. This is the basic technology and the basic application. This is combined with another technology that's called hydrosal sal cool. The combination of the two give us not just exfoliation, but also give us a sensory marker. I can talk more about sensory markers that are crucial to have cosmetic product. Sensory is everything to do with how to make the consumer feel, smell, see that the product works immediately. We cannot just say, oh, in five weeks you will have a great skin. No, it typically goes, I want to see that now. If it doesn't work now, how do I believe you it will work later? So we use different sensory markers to enhance the sensation. And this is Salkul. Salkul is a complex of three different ingredients in the right ratio that gives a fresh sensation. No odor, it's not menthol, it's not any of the botanical that's similar to menthol no odor at all. So there is nothing that evaporates from the skin, but it's a neurocosmetic element that give you a feel of freshness. So even you wash your face with hot water, you will feel cool water, cool sensation on your skin. If you use it as a shampoo, you will feel it on your scalp and on your body. So this is Hydrosal Sal Cool. It's a clear, product that gives a sensory sensation. Now, this base of the facial uh, wash I'm showing you can be used for anti-blemish, can be used for brightening the skin, skin smoothing, scalp treatment, foot care, and so and so, with the same ingredients exactly. You can add something else, in a small amount, but this is the whole idea. And the sensory is give you the freshness sensation, but it's not a menthol, it's actually menthol free and alcohol free. This is the formula. The formula contains about 60% water, okay? Glycerin, some other polymer, surfactants, and two technologies, hydrosal sal cool at 1%, and, hydro and sulfur even skin, at 3.3%, and of course a preservative at 1%. We use an alternative preservative, and the process goes in seven steps. Okay, what are the steps? First of all, we take one vessel, we warm it up, we add the water and the glycerin. To this, we add the thickener, hydroxypropyl cellulose. To this, we add the cleansing surface, surfactant, sodium cochil glutamate. You see that we stick to natural ingredients. Then we add a forming, forming agent, the betaine. 
Then number five, exfoliating technology. When this is all done, we can add the technology. Six is refreshing. The sensory comes after the functional ingredient. And seven is a preservative. What's nice about this? Mostly water, one vessel. Just add them one after another. And uh, now I want to show you how it's being done actually in the lab. And Brian will explain you the process. You see First, water. Glycerin is added to water. So now you're guest in our own lab with direct broadcasting. You see exactly how we do it. Next, we add the Clucel EF very slowly to the water and glycerin mixture. You see, if you follow the directions, you'll if you get wish, wonderful. you may heat this to aid in solubilization. Yeah, wonderful product. Just follow the directions. Once all the clue cell EF has been added, mix until homogenous. Now that our water phase is homogenous, we will allow it to cool down to room temperature. Once the water phase is cooled to room temperature, the surfactant phase may be added. First, we will add the protolane AG95C. This is sodium cocoyl glutamate. This is our cleansing surfactant. Of course, in reality, it takes long, Joe. Next, the amphotensid B5, which is cocomidopropyl betaine, will be added. This is our foaming surfactant. Now, you may buy it from uh, other sources, so there are different trade names, which is okay. That's why in the formula, we have the inky name as well as the trade name. Now our first technology, cell sphere even skin will be added. You see that it's clear. This is our encapsulated salicylic acid and will provide exfoliating power to this wash. It doesn't change the color of the finished product. Next, our second technology, hydrocell cell cool will be added to the formulation. This will provide a sensory benefit in the form of a cooling effect on the skin. Okay, practically it's done. And finally, our preservative, La Natural Ultra 3, is added to the formulation. Okay, now you let it mix. Now we allow it to mix until homogenous, and we have our South Sphere Even Skin Face Wash. Thank you. And you see how it's all happening in the lab. You can do the same thing. You can uh, get a clear product. You can package it in any kind of uh, unit, whatever uh, you would like to do. Um, sometimes with the brush, without brush. Now you can use it as a facial wash, as a scalp treatment, anti-dentroth, foot in order to smooth the foot skin, and all together, this is a wash that leaves the skin clean, clear, and refined without over drying or irritation while fighting the signs of aging. Time release salicylic acid, cleans and exfoliate acne prone skin. 
So I'm pretty, pretty much give you here sentences what you could put on your label and what kind of claims you can make, dry skin relief, cleansing, invigorating, anti-blemish, and so on. The second one is a technology uh, coming from Bangkok. This is an anti-blemish serum, and it contains two technologies, Southfield Even Skin and uh, Sal Color Green. So uh, this is very light, full, moisturizing facial serum. Remember serum you put after you wash the face before moisturizer. Serum with exfoliating functional helps with penetration of the moisturizers and other functional ingredients. So this is the major value of using a serum. Serum that exfoliates. Once it's moisturized and exfoliates, it allows the other ingredients to penetrate deeper and faster. It leaves the skin firmer, smoother, and reduces the appearance of pores because of the exfoliation while increasing overall hydration. The serum should always be applied after cleansing or toning and before the moisturizers and sunscreen. So this is the trend now to use sebum, serum uh, in case instead of heavy moisturizers. Here is the formula how to make a serum. It's pretty simple one. It has over 77% water, diglycerin, carbomel, most important, sarsfil even skin at 1.6%. You see here the concentration is lower than in the wash, it's half and you don't need that much because you don't rinse it off. It's a leave on. And this is the South Color Green. These are green beads that add beauty to the product. You can look at this formula later on. I'm sure you cannot remember it all by just showing it to you. That's why we're recording this and you will get a recorded version. The same formula can also use other technologies such as hydrosal, Youth, which is an encapsulated hyaluronic acid, hydrosal sal cool for freshening, which I showed you before, and hydrosal anti natural anti aging. This is to enhance the elasticity of the skin. And sunsphere light, which is a special technology to brighten the skin. We will talk more about hyperpigmentation and the role of this technology to treat over hyperpigmentation. Six steps to make this formula. You start with the water and glycerin, you add the carbomel, step number two. Then you add the glycerin with the acrylate polymer. Number four, you add even skin, but this sulfur even skin now is pre-mixed with PEG 40. Okay, this is number four. Number five, triethanolamine, this is to fix the pH, so the pH is friendly, and at the end we add sal color green. This is how it's made in Bangkok lab. So you see the basic, the water, the carbomers are added, and everything is mixed together. It takes a few minutes, depends of course on the volume, on the mixing. You don't need the homogenizer for this, just need the mixer. This is the thickening serra gel, adds to this and when you will see in a short time it will enhance the viscosity and you will have to change the mixing condition to make it happen. So when it gel now you add the technology Sunsphere Even Skin. It all blended very easily. You see salicylic acid is so water soluble now, suspendable into the environment very easily. Then you just balance the pH back, bring it to about five if needed, and how much is up to you, how much uh, is needed, and uh, ready. Now, this is the sal color beads added at a very small amount, 0.3%, and added when it's liquid, you can mix it very well. They will not break at all. And at the end, you get a jelly kind of a product and you can see it here, this is, it's coming up. When it's packaged, you see here, it's packaged with green and black color beads. It's called Sal Color Green, 
sour color of black and you put them all together so it makes the product beautiful. It doesn't add any significant benefit to the product, put the product by itself. So this is a liquid gel that can contain high concentration of skin active, combination of antioxidant, it's brightening agents, moisturizing, wrinkle repair, and other things. The whole beautiful thing about this is the serum is very light. You need only a little bit and it does a lot. So just a little bit and you see a major solution. So um, remember I showed you the faces before. Now you see before treatment and after. You see how exfoliation can significantly improve the skin appearance in this case and also in the other case. So Sunsphere Even Skin is a wonderful product to easily change, improve, enhance the appearance of skin. It's good for teenagers that suffer from acne, young adults that suffering, and even adults that from time to time have a pimple or their skin is oily and acne prone. This is a way to keep it nice and clear. The same thing with higher pigmentation. Sunsphere Even Skin is a great solution for hyperpigmentation, simply because it removes the old skin and expose younger skin. Now, if you get confused about alpha and beta hydroxy acid, let's clarify. When do you use glycolic? When do you use salicylic acid? So glycolic acid is only good for surface exfoliation. Remember, we talked about penetration. Glycolic acid can penetrate better than lactic, and it only can penetrate to the couple of layers on the top of the skin. It's also enhancing skin hydration, and the primary concern is sun damage. So you cannot put glycolic acid when you expose to sun. It's a very potent exfoliator for the topmost layer of the skin. Let's look at salicylic acid. It's oily and acne prone skin. This is the major customer for this product. Oily and acne prone skin. How do you know the skin is oily? Just look at this. You see the shine. It's, it's very suitable for sensitive skin that cannot tolerate alpha hydroxy acid. And many people are suffering from this. They feel that the alpha hydroxy acid is too strong. This is much milder, especially when it's encapsulated and it's slowly released. It's incoming acne spot. It's treating acne in different layers, different level. And this one penetrates from the topmost layers to the deeper layer. So if you really want to get a good rejuvenation, you use salicylic acid. And glycolic acid is typically for night treatment only when you need it the most. But uh, the product that uses glycolic acid encapsulated is Salsphere Clear Skin. For salicylic acid, we use even skin. So these are two basic technologies that you can use today to enhance the appearance of the skin. Clear skin and Salsphere Even Skin. So let's summarize our webinar for today. I have introduced to you exfoliating agent and you see that exfoliating is an important step in skin rejuvenation in order to expose a younger looking skin. The money should go always first to exfoliate before you buy expensive products. Without exfoliation, the expensive product cannot perform. They just cannot penetrate. The technology, Sunsphere Even Skin, is a technology that solves multiple problems. First of all, it makes your formulation very easy. It's a liquid form of salicylic acid. It's soluble form of salicylic acid. You don't have to deal with crystals, precipitation, phase separation, low pH. It can be used for localized areas and for gentle, general body wash scalp wash and so on. So this one technology is really usable for multiple purposes. So if you have a stock of this, you can use it for scalp, for face,
for treatment of the face, for body, for food, and so on. So this is the beauty of buying a technology that can be used for multiple products, for wash, for serum, for toners, for lotions, everything is, uh, can be used with Salsfair even skin. So, and the same thing, it can be used for different type of claims from treatment of dental, blemish, acne, scar, uneven skin color, foot, and so and so. So this is a valuable technology for you to consider. Now, in general, uh, I want to thank you, first of all, for your attention and let you know that our website, www.salbona.com, is open 24-7. You can get full information. It's like a supermarket. You just go and pick up what you need. You can order samples. You can order, also order samples with your local distributor. Like this case is Scope Ingredients. But you can order online and the samples are free. The samples, again, are free. If you don't get the samples that you want, you can always co connect with us or with, its, the, with the distributor to get further information. I really recommend you to keep in touch and grow with us. In other words, start to use the technology and see the value, how it's increasing your market share and your business. You can always contact the company and me. Here I'm giving you my personal cell phone, 732-690-3173. You can also reach me by email, by WeChat, by WhatsApp, Viber, Line, Telegram, and so on. And of course, please register to LinkedIn and follow us on LinkedIn so you will see what else we are doing.